Alright, so for this game I'm going to be running Streetwise, uh, which basically will give me a item consumption reduction of 25%. Uh, so it'll basically make my toolbox even more effective because uh, I'm going to be going for some gen speed on this game. I'm going to try to get two gens done as quickly as possible. Um, just in case anyone gets hooked early game, it sort of makes up for it later in the late game. It gives you less gens to have to do once people start getting killed off. Um, and this toolbox is the yellow one which is 20 charges. Then I'm running socket swivels which increases the toolbox repair speed and then scraps which gives you 8 charges to the toolbox. We've got um, uh, this is an offering which will give me 75% bonus blood points because I'm still leveling up Fengmin. I think she's one of the coolest looking survivors on Dead by Daylight. She's got some of the best cosmetics. And uh, yeah. So I've got the um, Prestige 1 skin for her when I tour, so, but then the other ones are just some I bought off the Dead by Daylight store. Um, we're going to be running Decisive Strike on this game as well. Um, I hardly ever use that perk to be honest on this game, I think I've only got it on one build. And that's actually on, I think it was Bill, it might have been Bill or Laurie Strode, I did have it on Laurie at one point. Um, but I only started using it recently because for some reason I never bothered um, leveling up Laurie until like... I want to say just before Christmas, because I was running, um, I was running main as Detective Tap and David King. So I actually only started leveling up Laurie um, and unlocked Decisive Strike fairly recently, probably about four or five months ago now. I want to say, but um, it's a good perk. I'm still learning how to use it correctly um, and in the right situation. But um, it is a really good one once you can get it to work and apply it to the right situation. It's a really, really good perk to have. Um, I know a lot of people say it's overpowered, but it really does help if you get a killer that tunnels. Um, we've got the Stranger Things map, the Hawkins National Laboratory. This is one of my favourite maps in the whole game. I absolutely love Stranger Things. Um, and honest to God, I cannot wait for Season 4. I'm so excited. I think the killer is Death Slinger. Just heard them, some music then, it sounded a bit like Death Slinger, I could, have been, could be wrong though. It's going to be interesting to see how a Death Slinger uh, killer actually copes with this map, considering it's mostly tight corridors and whatnot. My uh, sprint burst is going to actually be quite helpful. On, uh, like, there's no gem no, there's gem in the corner, I'll go do that. Yeah, my sprint burst is going to be really useful on this map. I got a board out there, and that's sweet. I'll go to the next gem then. Yeah, um, so like I was saying, my sprint burst is going to be really useful because it's mostly uh, long corridors and sharp turns, so it's going to give me a really good advantage if the killer spots me or is on my tail. But, but if, if you don't know what Sprint Burst is, it's the perk on the bottom left uh, that looks like the running footsteps and basically increases your running speed for 3 seconds. I still need to level mine up to level 3 on Feng um, but it's a really, really good perk to have. I've also got Streetwise that increases item efficiency and then I've got... Uh, but it's a really, really good perk to have. I don't know why it's going out of my mind. I literally spoke about it in the video I made before this, but the killer DC. Um, and that one basically increases your uh, generator repair speed, healing, survival inhibition, um, and exit gate open speeds when you're injured. So it's a really, really good perk. It's quite, I think, yeah, that's it. It's called resilience. That's one. Sweet, so we're down to two gens. Dwight helping. I don't even use my toolbox yet. I feel as if I don't want to use it now, I want to give the killer a chance. I always like to get a gen or two done quickly, but I never like to gem rush because I find it's really unfair on the killer. Um, ah, it's a doctor. Sweet. I was literally just saying before that I've not played against this killer in ages. I love the doctor. He's my favourite killer in Dead by Daylight from the original killers by far. So sick. His design is amazing. If you don't know much about him, um, 
I'm gonna have to be careful as I'm this fucking sector always me. Um, I'm just hoping it doesn't lose overcharge to find out where I am. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get out of here, I think. Yeah, um, I was just about to say then before he, he basically burst in on us, but um, earlier on today I actually ordered the Trick or Treat Studios Doctor Mask to go with my Doctor Mask. I was talking about it in my last video actually, and I'm so excited to come. It's coming from the US, so it's going to take a while because I'm in the UK, but I'm so excited for it, it was so sick. I'll be sure to post the review the second it comes in because I cannot wait. It's one of the most creepy looking maps I've seen. They're so good as well. So I can hear him, I'm obviously in this terror radius. I'm gonna probably start using the toolbox now. So streetwise is activated, giving me a little more iron efficiency. I'm going to try to finish this gem and then go through the input. I'm not sure if the white I'm playing with is going to do that or not. But I've nearly finished this gem, so then we'll be down to one gem. This is what I was saying earlier on about how if you do a few gems early on quickly, the second you kill it, there's pressure on, and as a few people on hook, or it gets you down to say two or three survivors, you still have a chance to escape the match. Uh, We've only got one gen left, and all four of us are still alive. So, right, he knows where I am now. Oh, shit. Um, I'm gonna go for the unhook. I'm not sure if he's around here or not, but I can hear his music playing, so I'm guessing he is. I'm gonna have to be careful. Yeah, he's. I think he's face camping. I might just go for it and risk it. I don't know. Wish me luck, guys. It's another Feng Min. I did my duty. I think he's after the I'm gonna go this way. But ideally I need to find that Feng Min and heal like that. Um, either that or do another gem because this, this killer is definitely starting to put on pressure now. So, I'm just trying to see if I can find any totems anywhere just in case he has no edge, but does uh, should be all good. So go over that way. <laughs> See you left behind any more gems. Well that one's done. I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> Shit, I went goes into tier three insanity. So he can now see where I am at all times and I'm gonna have visual illustrations of the doctor. So I'm going to have to try and get out of that by standing up to if we can stand out quick. Luckily I'm pretty good at skill checks so I don't really mess these up too often. Um, but when I do it's always on a generator when the pillars are right next to me. So that's a hallucination of the Doctor. Um, it's not real. As you can see. I'm trying to figure out where this last gen is. I'm kind of hoping someone else has found it because if not. Is that that thing Min? Where'd she go? In this way. She really just gone into the basement. Maybe. Does she want him? Heal by now, so I can go straight for the um, unhook. Just the longer you leave people on the hook, um, the less time they have later on. Because it's not actually relative to each time you're on it, it's just it counts every time, if that makes sense. I don't know if that made sense, but um, yeah, he's down there still. I'm just thinking we all just rush in and get them. Gen might be one that's upstairs somewhere. I don't know 
that person. Yeah, it is. It's the one. So on this map, um, if you guys are new to this game, you can actually get a trophy for the Stranger Things DLC, and it's for this gen in this cupboard here, and it's a silver trophy, so it's actually worth it. And all you have to do is repair the generator and escape the match. So if you ever uh, play this and you've not got that trophy, it's something to keep in mind. It took me about two or three attempts, I think, uh, just because I'd always have someone else on it already. Um, but I remember this one time I was playing with a few friends and uh, we were just all trying to get the trophy down. It's like he face camps a little bit as well. I mean, there's nothing wrong with a killer with controlling um, the survivors at all. Because it is, all well, the devs have actually come out from Dead by Daylight and said that it is a legitimate strategy of doing it. It's just a bit more of an annoying one if you're a survivor. But you've got to think it is a 4v1. Um, so sometimes people do like to bully the killer and you can bag them or not. I've almost done this. I'm going to go and look for survivor. Way out, I think. Sweet, so the exit gates are now powered. I think it's going to be right here. Yeah, it's right there. Um, I think I'm going to go and I'm going to go open the other exit gate. Just because, yeah, I knew it was going to be that. Save it up to the end of the game. And then we've got another illusion in the doctor there. I'm sure I'll probably. No, I'm not going to this week. Oh, I absolutely love this map. It's the colour. It's just like, so well done on this and it looks like the upside down as well. So I'm going to hit here three again. Uh, so I'm going to open the exit gate quick and then snap it over. I don't know why the other two haven't gone through the I don't think there's anything I can do with that now. I'm over the side of the map, so I wouldn't make it in time anyway. But since those two have opened the other exit gate, um, I'm kind of hoping they can do it. But the end game collapse has begun now anyway. Did they say that? No, they didn't. But that was me, I would have been so frustrated. I would have gone, um, it's just that killer was really controlling the area. So um, it just would have made it really difficult to actually escape. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty good game. Still got my toolbox, and when you escape, you get to keep your add ons as well. So there you go. Got the survival points, and obviously the obsession as well. So that was a pretty sick game. I've wanted to play against the Doctor Raiders, so it's been really good to actually finally get a game against them and record it as well. A bit too bad on my game. Went up as well. Put two iridescent medals, one for gem repairs, the other was for surviving. And then I got silver for being altruistic, which is basically just um, doing things with the other survivors in the game. Incorporating them and then the evader is basically staying hidden from the killer and whatnot. I usually do get um, full red across the board, um, but I, when you're playing against the doctor, it's actually really hard to stay away from the killer just because he has the overcharge ability where he can show you, where you can basically find out where you are. Um, it was the top player though, but um, yeah, it was definitely a good match. I need to get back down to purple and red ranks again because I haven't played in a while. I've been really obsessed with a few different other games like Overwatch and stuff. So if you guys want to see anything like uh, some Overwatch streams or anything like that, just let me know. Give me a shout. Um, I might do some Resident Evil streams, things like that. But um, yeah, let me know, and I will catch you guys in the next video which is probably going to be a saw mask unboxing so keep your eyes out for that and i'll catch you guys in the next one